Hey Mussies! I'm back with another episode of my Godzilla collection bootleg and knockoffs, or my knockoff Godzilla bootleg I don't know what it's called, but... First off, as you can see, this is not a knockoff or bootleg. This is the actual NECA 1995 Godzilla figure. But what is a knockoff or a bootleg is this figure. It's really just a copy of that, obviously, but really crazy variations of color patterns. Not quite the best in terms of mold uh, up here by the top of his head. There's like this big dip in his head. And if you look down here at his feet, like the mold is like stuck together, creating like a webbing effect between the toes. There's also not that much articulation in this figure compared to the NECA, but it is heavy like one for sure. It's got the translucent effect going on here. as You can maybe see there was like many different variations of this, all kinds of different uh, colors. You got articulation in the head or in the neck, I mean, the shoulders, the hips, and then it looks like one point in the tail right back here. But the way he's posed with lack of articulation, if you actually try to stand him upright, his legs end up twisting out sideways, and so he would be standing very awkwardly like this. And so if you want his feet to be straight, like there you go, that is actually when his feet are firmly planted on the ground on both sides. His tail ends up this high up in the air. So there's no perfect posing for him, but I mean, it's a bootleg. But the coolest feature about this figure though, this section of spines here come off. Because it comes with this little device here. This, And yes, it actually does work. See that? Hopefully it's not giving anybody a seizure. There's, there's two different speeds. You can do fast or slow. Oh, three speeds. Look at that. And so we'll pop that in there. I don't see how this could actually correctly fit in here. Once you have this in, this in itself barely fits onto this. No, there's like no way to actually get this on and top afterwards. So, <laughs> so you can either have them complete or with the effect in there, incomplete. But like I said, we'll get back to the battery thing in a second. Furthermore, this actually comes with its own little breath particle effect. Now, this is actually really good for uh, a copying of the, the mold of the other figures here. Uh, it's painted fairly decently, I mean, for a knockoff. But none of that, like, uh, the webbing effect or the poor molding translates onto this here. It actually came out really clean looking. So let's just... I don't think there's any way to actually pop this in his mouth and get it to stay. You can, there you go. You can prop it up on the ground for that kind of effect. Let's turn out the lights. Well, take them inside and see what it looks like with the light up effect. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and so you can actually get this spine to fit in fairly well, but not perfectly. But whenever you push it in, it changes the speeds. Yeah, it won't stay. It keeps expanding. And really quick, I threw in the atomic breath effect here, but that doesn't really do much. But actually, I'm surprised that this lights up this well at all. It's actually quite bright. Let's see some of the other speed real quick. There's a much slower one. That's actually a pretty cool effect. <laughs> oh, the spine's popped off again. Pretty cool. All right, next up I got this plushie here. Uh, the only thing I know about it, I got it off eBay, is it's called XYZ Plush. That's all. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, comparing to my hand here, uh, it's decent size. I mean, it's a little bit probably bigger than the, the NECA figures were. It's a little used, a little loved, I guess you would call it. Or maybe it's just the way it ages, that the teeth are almost like flowering out, blossoming out past his mouth. Yeah, so there's that plushie. This is actually kind of cool, this set here. Uh, this is a Godzilla vs. Kong collection set bootleg, or maybe just Godzilla Monsterverse collection set. So we'll start off cool here first. You know this is quality because it's got like all these recognizable brands. <laughs> so this must be a good product, right? How many of those characters can you name? All of them? Let's take a look here. So first of all, these are caked in paint here. <laughs> like the paint, I feel like it's gonna crumble off in time. There's something really adorable that I really like this set. And I think the more I show off of it, the more you'll see why I mean. I mean, it's completely cheesy and cheap, but it's lovable. Now there are other sets that I saw of this that uh, had slight variations, like it would have Godzilla, Kong, and then a couple other monsters. This one seemed to have the most variety. 
yeah he's got articulation in the uh, arms and it looks like a little bit in the tail really bulky figure like I said colorful though <laughs> but yeah that's enough of a Godzilla right there he's, he's even got these like little scratch marks from battling pretty cool little details here's the Kong that came with that set he's not got as many scratches but this one's definitely caked with paint here I just it's gonna crumble off the more it dries up and he's got articulation in his arms also very soft just like the Godzilla figure it comes with a skull crawler pretty cool I don't know why he's bright green but I like it no articulation on this one he's even got little yellow dots for the eyes then we have a war bat like you can see why I really like this set I mean like I said it's very colorful but at the same time like how often do you think you're really gonna come across a bootleg war bat or skull crawler you know you it's common to see bootleg Godzilla and Kong stuff but to come across these characters especially when they're that new I guess oh he does balance look at that and then finally in this set one more figure <laughs> randomly a Rodan <laughs> Now this is more dragon like with his uh, horns behind his head here, but he's even got some like little spikes on the tail. Yeah, no articulation for the war bat, for, <laughs> I noticed that like, I keep filming and all these flies keep coming around these figures. Not just these ones, but my other ones too. I guess it's just cause it's hot and they're plastic and so they're soaking up heat or they have some kind of weird smell that I can't detect, but pretty cool. Oh, his nails are a little smudged looking, but there you go. I love that set. And this next one will either be the grand finale or a grand dud. But I came across this on Amazon here. Uh, the company calls itself Hong Long Toy. But it's Godzilla King of the Monsters. Or up here it just says King of the Monsters. It's cool that they actually gave this its own little bootleg box. When it comes to Godzilla stuff now, they're usually just like loose in their own packaging or whatever. But here there's like no barcode on the back, but we have all the instructions. And wait, number four says different types of batteries or new and used batteries are not to be mixed. But then on here, number eight says do not mix old and new batteries. Like they cannot emphasize that enough there. <laughs> but let's pop this bad boy open. Oh yeah. You know this is going to be good because it comes with will underneath it. But uh, before I even get even more in depth here, it's even got its own little release button, so that's cool. You can put it together and its, and it's tail locks into place so it doesn't come out. Unless you push this button, you can pop it off and put it back in the box and restore it all together. It's got shiny reflective blue paint and clear translucent spikes, so maybe you can figure out where we're going with this. And then, ooh, it's hot out. Come on, get out of the box, get out of the box. Yeah, did anybody see this on Amazon? Pretty awesome, he's got little light bulbs for eyes. He's got translucent tongue. He's got translucent spines. More of that reflective paint. He's got wheels under his feet. Spring-loaded mechanism. It looks like this is going to light up. It also advertises sound, I don't know. And then, uh, I guess a walking? And moving mechanism if any of this works at all who knows but here's where you store the batteries he's even got the dinosaur inspired feature here also I just want to add that there's this uh, little light bulb sticking out in the back here above the, the tail part so whenever you insert it in through here make sure that the light bulb is bent up correctly to go through here otherwise it might snap off if you try to force it and it's pressing up against this all right and there he is all together not too bad looking, not too shabby. It's like almost 90 degrees right now. These flies are killing me. All right, so it looks like it runs on, let's see here. Yeah, I could be wrong, it looks like three batteries. The, the bottom thing looks like it has like a lot of space for the batteries to be loose.
This is incredible. Like, why don't we get official Godzilla toys like this? I'm just curving a little bit to the right. Alright, monsters. So this ends up being the light-up special. Thanks for watching.